What is up guys, Grenader here, and today I was, or I was playing some team deathmatch with, uh, I was running the Vector with a Silencer, and C4, and just basically, you know, playing along. Anyways, um, yesterday I got my package in the mail, and it was the, uh, one of the control freaks that everyone's been talking about. And at first, I wasn't really a big believer on this, but uh, after yesterday and today, I um, they seem pretty useful. And if you saw on the screen, I uh, those are the ones I got. And here, I put some pictures of my controller with without the control freak and with the con uh, the control freak. And uh, it really does make a big difference once you put them on and try it out and uh you'll get it's kind of weird at first but once you get used to it you become very very accurate um i love these these are uh really like they're they make your accuracy way better um uh, my accuracy was terrible but with these uh you can be more precise and uh, i like to snipe so like when i use a sniper in black ops 2 um, it's way easier for me to snipe, and uh, I think uh, this is a very good product. I've tried it. it. It's very good. I wasn't really a big believer on it, but now I, I, I see what er the hype is all about. I see what everyone talks about, and uh, I tried taking them off and playing without them. But it's once you get used to them, there's no going back because it feels very different once you take them off and other than that uh, the price is very cheap if you go to the website they're about 10 bucks uh, not very ch not very expensive very cheap if I would say and they're like a lot of types of control freaks like I got the classics and uh, I saw that there were others like just for sniping if like if you're a sniper or if you're more of a like they have certain ones for certain categories of games and I these suit the first person shooter type of game and uh, I was using the control freak while, I, while uh, I was playing this game with the vector and I found my shots to be more precise I went 10 and 2 um, we lost but I felt like I was doing very good I went 10 and 2 I usually don't go 10 and 2 in team deathmatch. Usually go like 10 and 5. But uh, I, these really do work. I mean, when I first saw the video, I didn't think it worked, but I now believe they do work. And so, so I really, really, really recommend this for anyone that is, uh, you know, just starting Call of Duty or you just want to improve your aim because this brought my KD up. You know, my kitty was point seventy something. I was terrible, but now my kitty's gone up to a one point zero one, which I think is fantabulous. It's such a improvement, and I really like these. These have really changed my experience of uh, Call of Duty, and uh, it sounds very dramatic, doesn't it? But they it really works, and if you uh, I bought them from GameStop. I didn't go to the to the main page to the Control Freaks website, but I went to the GameStop website. And if you check the ratings, most of them are 10, 9, 10 and 9, and that really proves my point that Z's are a very this product is amazing. So I really recommend it to you guys. So thank you for watching. Comment and subscribe, and look out for new videos and. Uh, my one of my new videos that I will be uploading later is uh, how to uh, capture Call of Duty gameplay without a capture card. So thanks for watching.